Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of the We're Making an App series where Ben and I talk to you about the behind the scenes process of building Cut and Paste, a surgical logbook for medical students, an app that we're building over the next few weeks. In today's video we're going to be talking about how to design the app and hopefully I'll be showing you that this is quite a straightforward process that doesn't need to be as complicated as it sometimes seemed to people who haven't done it before. There are loads of tutorials on YouTube and around the rest of the internet about the specific apps that we're going to be using for this. But the point of these videos isn't to give you the nitty gritty of how to use the apps, you know, click this button, click that button, this is how you use the pen tool. It's more about a high level overview about, right, if you've got an idea for an app, how do you take that idea into a product and what steps do you need to do? How do you go about it? And if you do end up doing this, then of course you can find more detailed tutorials about how to use Sketch or Envision or any of the other things we're going to be using. Anyway. Once you've got the idea in your head about what you want your app to do, which was pretty much the level that we were at, we then need to design what we think the app is going to look like. So for cut and paste, we just started out with some sketches. Ben spent an afternoon drawing boxes on a page on a piece of A4 paper that we stole from one of the printers at the hospital. Drew boxes like a box for the home screen, a box for the logbook page, a box for the ad operation page, and little boxes inside there's that, right, on the home page we want a button that links to the logbook. On the operations page, we want to show all of the little items. On the ad operation page, we want a box asking for the patient ID, that sort of thing. Designing an app is, to put it very, very bluntly, just drawing boxes on a page. And I know this is probably going to annoy any legit designers who watch this video, although who am I kidding, no legit designers are going to be watching this video. But for our purposes, for the purposes of essentially lay people who are not experts in design or anything like that, who just want to get something from idea into reality, designing an app is effectively just drawing boxes on a page. And we start by doing these by pen and paper. And then once we've done that, we can transition into converting them into, an, into a digital copy of the designs. So after Ben spent a few hours with his, with his pen and paper drawing these boxes, we had a little session where we discussed some of the ideas and suggested some ways in which it could be improved and some things that we didn't quite want. Anyway, once we had the sketches, the next step was to convert them into the actual computerized design. The app that we used for this doesn't really matter. The point is we just need some kind of software for the computer that can draw boxes on a screen. The one that I personally like using is called Sketch. It's available only for Mac. It's a specific web design or app design tool and I think it costs about £40 for the student discount license. If you don't want to pay any money that's absolutely fine. You can use something called Figma, F-I-G-M-A, which is also really good and it's a web-based thing so you don't have to install anything. You can use it on Mac and Windows, or you can even use things like PowerPoint and Word because PowerPoint and Word let you draw boxes on the page. Secondly, another important point is that there's no need to start from scratch. I think a lot of times when people who haven't done this sort of thing before think about designing an app or designing a website, they think about the blank screen, the blank piece of notepad paper that they're going to have to write their code on. And maybe that was true 10, 15 years ago when you, you picked up an HTML book and you had to write everything out from scratch, like HTML, body, head, and all of that stuff. That's not really true in this day and age. In 2017, there are so many good free resources out there that there's very little point in actually starting anything from scratch. So, although designing an app is just drawing boxes on a page, it's nice if those boxes look, look pretty. Like if you've got a text field or if you've got a keyboard or if you've got an image, it would be nice for it to look like how it would on an iOS device or an Android device. And luckily, there are people on the internet who very kindly have given away templates of these boxes for iOS for Android. So we found one on the internet and it just comes with a series of components. It gives you all the boxes, it gives you buttons of different colors. So in that sense, designing this app, designing cut and paste was just a matter of taking this existing template and then dragging and dropping the right buttons and the text fields onto a separate document and changing the text of it. Now, of course, there's more to it than that if you want to become a full-time designer and actually do this properly, but we're not full-time designers. We're just medical students doing this as a side project. And I imagine if you're watching this video, you're you're probably also in that position whereby you've got your own full-time thing going, you just maybe want to learn how to design an app as a side project. And in that case, there is absolutely no need to reinvent the wheel, there's no point starting from scratch. You might as well get a template off the internet. There are loads of free ones, you can get nicer ones if you pay a few pounds for them, but there are loads of free ones, just customize them to suit your needs and then you have something ready to go. And in about two hours of drawing boxes on Sketch and copying and pasting components from this template into our actual document, we managed to create a pretty reasonable looking design. Hopefully you like it, we think it looks quite nice. And it took a few hours of Ben drawing boxes on a piece of paper and then a few hours of me and Ben sort of collaborating on Sketch on a single computer and drawing boxes on this app. So hopefully it doesn't look too shabby and hopefully this video has shown you that Designing an app is not as hard as it initially seems. And once you've got an idea in your head, you just convert it into a paper sketch, convert it into an online document, and then you're pretty much ready to go. 
So thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned for the next video in the series in which we'll talk about how we prototyped the app, how we made the screens go from one to the other. Thank you for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you in the next one. Bye.